this video let's take a look at classes. You might have noticed in the previous video when I selected some of the elements and changed the design using the freehand control, Blocks has automatically created a class for me. It will happen for all of the elements I adjust this freehand control. For example, look at this box when I drag this radius corner of this image. Blocks has automatically created this image style class, which is basically the style for this element. So if you want, you can copy this style, this class, and apply to all other elements, and you will be able to apply the class. And now, because all of these elements have the same class applied, when you change the design of one element, the class will be adjusted for all of the other elements. For example, we can change the margin, we can apply the size settings, and so on. So these type of classes are freehand classes, and these are automatically created and managed by Blocks app itself. But we also have two other types of classes. The first type is custom classes, which you can create yourself, and to do that, let's say that we have this banner here and in the sidebar we can change the color to something we like, for example this black or some other color. But what if we want something more fancy? Well, for that we need to use custom classes. So let's get rid of this color and instead let's go to this classes box in the top right corner of our right sidebar and let's type the custom background and when we click on this we will open the class editor so inside here we have a bunch of options if you have used blocks free before you can notice that there are so much more things we can do in blocks 4 and of course we will explore most of these features during our design process of the website in this course but right now let me show you how to create some custom looking background. So as you can see in the sidebar here, these are the settings we get by default in the sidebar. We can set the image, maybe change the style a little bit and maybe enable the parallax effect. But in class editor we can do so much more. For example we can create the gradient backgrounds. Let's add a couple of colorful colors. And if we want in blocks 4 we can now add even more than one and more than two. For example, let's add the third one like that. We can change the type to radial and a couple others. We can change the angle, we can change the direction. Well, it's not design I was going for, but you can see how much powerful the custom classes are. So if you don't like what you have created, you can delete this class. And there are a couple of ways we can do that. So first of all, of course, we can just click on it and click delete. Or if you click this close button, you will remove this style from this block. But this style will still be available to you if you type this style here. You can see custom BG class is still available for us to add back. But if you want to delete it altogether, in addition to deleting it directly from the class editor, you can also go to class manager by clicking on this icon. And from here we have all of the classes used or added to this project. So this is the class we have edited before. And if we don't like it, we can delete it from here. Or we can also use the new feature in Blocks 4, which will allow us to delete all of the unused classes. So very useful feature. And I might use that during the design process for our project here.
Okay, let's try a couple of other functions we have in class editor. So let's switch to our other website. And let's say that we want to change some design of our images. For example, let's say that we want to change this image a little bit. So let's add a class, custom image style. Let's open the class manager. And there are a couple of new features, for example, CSS filters. We can add a number of cool features here. For example, you can make this image more saturated. And we can add the multiple filters, actually. For example, we can make this, well, I guess you want to use saturate and blur together, but if you want, you can do that here. And if you use block three, you know that we can switch between the normal state, which is the normal state, obviously, to hover state. This is when we hover the mouse over the element and active state when we press on the element. Now in blocks four, we also have focus in visited states, which are very useful for a couple of things. I will show one of the user cases for this when we come to work in these forms later on in this course. In addition to that, we have so much more cool features related to custom classes. For example, the new positioning tab, which gives us so much freedom of placing the elements anywhere we want on the screen. We also have the new interaction called toggle class, which will allow us to create some very cool effects and design elements for our website. I will use this for one of the elements I'm going to build in this website, of course. There are so many features related to custom class I want to show you. And when I will be building this website, I will do my best to show you all new features available in blocks four. For example, we have the flex classes now. We have the class library manager, which allows us to use the classes stored on our computer, even outside of this project. We will take a look at them as we go and build this beautiful website. Finally, we have bootstrap classes, which are not visible on the design canvas, but they're baked in inside blocks because as you know, blocks four is based on bootstrap four. So of course, if we go to the class manager, we can add some of them from this subclass library. But if you want to learn more, there are a bunch of resources online and I will link a few of them in the description below which let you find the bootstrap classes. For example, in this case, I'm working this form. And let's say that I want to change the appearance a little bit. So we can go to, for example, this website and let's type form and you can see it gives us all of the form related classes and this one used on input text area and so on. So let's copy this class, go to our class manager edit here and now if we open it we can change pretty much anything we want about it starting with the size borders we can create pretty much any design we want And in addition to that, I will show you how to find classes right on your computer using the Safari WebKit or even inside the blocks preview. Mm -hmm.